Sleeping Beauty Part 1, 3, 2, 1, action. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a beautiful girl was born to the king and queen. Servant! Yes, Your Majesty. I don't have a operation done. Of course, Your Majesty, already. Look, she's smiling at me. She must be ready too. Oh, my sweet little princess. Your Majesty, our guests are here. Let them in. Welcome to the real court. Fairies from all over the world invited for the celebration. They brought with them precious gifts and blessed the little princess. May she become a clever, beautiful, and kind girl. Your Majesty, we are glad to come and celebrate with you today the birth of your dear daughter, the newborn girl princess. Welcome, dear fairies. We are honored to have you in this happy day. Please enjoy the feast. I really like it. How can I help you? I would like to see the turkey and um, unfortunately the happy gathering turned into a horror scene. They didn't invite me to the celebration. I will show them what they deserve for that. Suddenly an old wicked fairy came to the palace and cursed the princess. The witch fairy said in anger and vanished. Everybody was shocked. Oh no! What does that mean? She calls my innocent baby. A young fairy rose and said, I can't take away the evil witch curse. But I tried to help. When the princess picks herself, she won't die. But will instead fall into a deep sleep and lonely awaken with a kiss of a prince who loves her. The king and queen were so worried for their dear daughter. Oh, your majesty, that can't be real. Please do something. You must stop that scary witch. Servant! Yes, your majesty. Please dismiss our guests. As you wish, your majesty. Your presence was so dear to us. But we apologize. We have to stop the celebration. I wish we could do something. Be strong. Things will get better. It may be stormy right now, but it can't rain forever. Go, go! Yes, Your Majesty. It's an emergency order. Whatever you please, Your Majesty, I'll do my best. This royal is being built of the kingdom now. Right away, Your Majesty. However, unknown to them, one spinning wheel was still left. End of part one. As the years went by, the baby grew to be a lovely, charming young girl. On her 16th birthday, when she was roaming about the castle, she came upon a secret road at the very top of the castle towers. Curious, she went to find an old woman bent over a spinning wheel. Oh, wow! What's this? This is a spinning wheel. She cried, for she had never seen such a thing before. Please, do it me. No, no, it's not for young girls. Please, please. She pleaded. Okay, I'll wait for Alexander. But the minute she touched the needle of the spindle, she fell to the ground. The witch spell had come true. Ha, <laughs> I got you, little ugly thing. Now, sleep forever. <laughs> princess, princess, where are you? Are you playing hide and seek? Oh no! Oh no! King! King! I can't believe it! We lost our daughter! For the heavy heart, the king ordered. Guard! Guard! Yes, Your Majesty. Take her for a grand room when she won't live for many years, as you wish your majesty. 
The whole kingdom was sad. The youngest fairy watched all of this. She said with a wave of her wand, Let the whole kingdom fall asleep with a princess. So when she's woken by her prince, she will not be alone. The moment she said this, all the people and the animals in the kingdom fall asleep. Where they were, everything stopped. As the years went by, a thick forest grew around the palace and the kingdom to hide it. Exactly 100 years later, a handsome friend was passing through the forest when he discovered the strange kingdom. Oh, what a strange kingdom. Hmm, interesting. I want to see what is in there. While exploring it, he was surprised to find the beautiful princess laying fast asleep. He immediately fell in love with her. I wonder who she is. How gentle and peaceful she looks. He leaned down and kissed her. Instantly, the spell was left. The princess and all the people awoke. Oh, where am I? And who are you, sir? I am the one who saves you and your kingdom. I came here while everybody was sleeping. Your kingdom was scarce. And now you are all free. That is unbelievable. Father, mother, did you hear that? Yes, my dear. This man deserves a lot of salute. Your Majesty, I am the Prince of Aragon. Princess, will you marry me? Of course I will. You saved our life. Prince, treat her right and she will be pleasant to your land. There was joy and celebration all around, and the prince and the princess were soon married and they lived happily ever after.